Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. If you're new here, my name is Chris. Today we're going to find out what I got in the Offer Cosmetics TBT Jumbo Mystery Box. I believe that's the whole title of it. Here it is. We're going to open this up and we're going to find out what I got. I'm really excited. I have not gotten a mystery box from this company yet. And I do love me some Offer Cosmetics, especially a good highlighter, man. Their highlighters are amazing and if you haven't yet already subscribed to my channel it's totally up to you but if you want to you can hit the subscribe button and then you can hit the bell button that's right next to it so that you can get notifications for whenever i post a new video so this jumbo box costs 59 dollars on offercosmetics.com this whole box is supposed to be worth 250 dollars and i paid actually less than 59 because i used like a coupon that they had going on honestly you can get a coupon whenever i think you sign up for like their newsletter or something like that regardless if there's 250 dollars worth of product in here that's a freaking steal so without further ado let's see Ooh, okay first item out is it's called a coffee body scrub i didn't even know they had that Wow, this is what it looks like. It's a little reflective, so I'm trying to just show what it says. I'm obviously not going to use it right now, but I would love to actually see what's in the inside. It is 5.5 ounces, 156 grams worth of product. Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like inside. Oh my God, that is like heavy coffee. I feel like I'm just smelly espresso. It smells really good. Really, really good. I am excited to use this. Let's see what's next. Ooh, is this a highlighter? I love Oprah highlighters. This one's called Beverly Hills. It looks like this. So I'm just going to take like a whirl of this. Just a little swirl. Ooh, okay, it's definitely on the brush. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes, do you guys see that? Look at that. Oh, I love Ofra highlighters. Let me show you which one I normally use. I have this one right here. As you can see, it's been loved. And this is the inside of it. That middle one right there, I use that highlighter all the time. So I am not surprised that this looks like that. What's next? Makeup fixer. Okay, basically a setting spray. It looks like this. It comes with two fluid ounces. I'm so bad at figuring out scents. I'm over here trying to figure this out. I don't know. Wait, does it say it on the bottle? No, it does not say it on the bottle. It smells fresh. If I could like give it a scent, a name, fresh. It smells really nice. Next, what is this? This is, oh, banana powder. Mm. It came like this. Down here it says banana powder. This is like a refill. I don't have an empty magnetic palette. I need to get that. That's such a shame. Let me show you guys. It looks like this. I don't want it to fall. I'm not going to try it now. I'll try this in the future. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it. I'll let you know. We have something else. Blush Bellini. And, ooh, it looks pretty. Looks like this. I'm not sure how this color is going to look on me. Okay, it's on my brush. I'm just going to go ahead. Hmm. Eh, I don't think it works that much. Oh, there it is. Nope, nope, nope. I was gonna talk way too soon. Oh, she's definitely there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this. I'm probably gonna give this to like my sister because she's a little bit lighter than me and I think this will complement her skin tone better. But it is a nice formula, it does feel nice. I can see it. Maybe if I continue to build it up, it'll show up, but I know me, I'm not gonna reach for it, so I'd rather just give it away. Ooh, we got a lippy, Bel Air, and it looks like it's cracked inside. That's not a good look. Look at the crack. Put it right here. Oh, that is such a pretty color. Look at that color. Okay, well, it's on my lips. It's definitely a nude for me. And this is a matte lipstick. It's nice. It's comfortable. It's Ofra. I have other Ofra lipsticks. This is like typical formula. It's nice and easy. It's smooth. It's pretty. Okay, not too shabby. So far, not too shabby. What else is in here? Ooh. Hmm. What the heck is this? Ah, 
It says eye palette. Wait a second. Is this like an empty case for what I just said that I needed? That's so freaky. Swear to God, I didn't even know this in there. I'm just gonna take this banana powder one. <laughs> I feel like such a kid right now. Sorry guys. I like legit do not own one of these. It was a long time coming. This is probably the most exciting thing that I have taken out of this box so far because I don't have one and I'm hyped. Thank you, Ofra Cosmetic. Cosmetic. Cos Close. Cosmetic. Is there anything else in here? Oh, it's another lippy. So this one is called Charmed. It looks like this. Okay. Ooh, this color would have would have looked perfect with my shirt. But here you go. Such a pretty color. Very, very nice. This is loose powder called White Diamond. I don't know if this is a highlighter. Let me look this up. It says build your glow to super bright and an ultra fine loose powder highlighter. Yes, so this is a highlighter. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like an eyeshadow or something like that. It's like this colors right in there so it's white how do i take this out Ugh, is this gonna be like a complicated one i'm trying you guys not to, oh i think i got it okay no i don't this is so annoying i'm just annoyed with this packaging altogether you guys this is like too much hold on got it why can't they just put like a little thing where you could just easily rip it off? This is what it was supposed to look like. I have some right in there. I'm gonna take it ever so lightly on the brush. Oh my god. Yeah. That's all glitter on my face. It might look shiny, you guys, but that is all glitter. I don't know if you could tell. It is all glitter. It's just glitter. I put glitter on my face. I know it says highlighter, but it's glitter on my face. I'm gonna try to like spread this out. This is a big no-no. After you kind of continuously kind of brush it out, it goes away. But I have glitter on my face and I don't like the way that looks. Mm -mm. Okay, well just one thing I don't like. Let's move along. I got a lip liner in the shade called Baby Doll. Baby Doll. And that's the color. Put in between. There you go. This actually would pair nicely with what I'm wearing right now because it's just a little bit darker. Feels kind of creamy and smooth, like as I put it on my hand, which is always great. Can't stand a lip liner, it's rock hard. That would suck. Okay, two other things eye gel primer, so eyeshadow primer, and lip gloss. Yay! lip gloss this is called baby doll so let's start with the lip gloss baby doll this comes with 0.47 fluid ounces oh wow let's see what happens let's see okay well that's on Looks cute. It's a little bit on the heavier side. I'm a lip gloss girl. I love lip glosses. I love Queen Lipsticks. It's just what I love. So, this is not that bad. Not my most favorite formula when it comes to lip glosses, but it's comfortable. It's nice. It's doable. I like it. It's not a complete waste. That's great. Okay, and the last thing is eye gel primer. The primer looks like this. It comes with 0.47 fluid ounces. All right, well, it's there. It's a little bit tacky, barely. I kind of like primers that are tacky because then the shadow grips onto it better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an eye look and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about all the things that I got and my thoughts on it and whether I think this box was worth it. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I did the rest of my face. I didn't put on any lashes today, so I feel a little naked, but I did go ahead and I used the Peanut Butter and Jealous palette. I know you guys have asked me to review this one a long time ago, back when I did the like unwrapping of the big Valentine's makeup bouquet thing that I got for Valentine's Day. But I never got around to using it and I saw it the other day and I was like, let me go ahead and use it. So this is on my eyes. It is such a great palette. It's so pretty. If you've never seen it, these are the shadows. 
very huge pans totally worth it loved it so much and then i went ahead and i used my bff ColourPop mascara in black and the glam like calligrapher liner these two are like my favorite duos okay now as for everything that came in the box the only thing that i was really disappointed in was this loose highlighter only because it was more glitter and that's just not my style it's not my taste if you like more of a glittered highlighter then i would definitely recommend this go for it um the packaging itself also was very frustrating but once it's out it's out at least you don't have to deal with that every single time this was like the only thing that i really wasn't so crazy about the eye gel primer is nice the shadows did grab on really really nicely usually i use concealer when i'm testing out a palette but this is not a palette review so i did like this a lot the blush was cute but it's just not my shade so it's not really there for anything like that it's just not my preference the highlighter was definitely one of my faves beverly hills is just so so pretty it looks stunning it's all over me and love this so much the coffee scrub i'm going to use and i'll let you guys know how i feel about it coffee scrub really exploits the skin so i am excited to use this so we're going to use this later on tonight when i take off all this makeup and wash my body the lipstick shades are also nice they're all for lipsticks i like their lipsticks i like how comfortable they feel so this i was actually happy with as well same thing as the lip liner i know i didn't use it just yet but it did feel nice on the skin it's a creamy one i will let you guys know in the comments down below when i use this but i am confident that this is gonna do fine the lip gloss is great i like lip gloss nothing really crazy about that it's lip gloss i haven't used the banana setting powder just yet either but i will and i'll let you guys know but this bad boy right here the eye palette i this is the one thing that i really just got super excited about even though i know it's just a magnetic case i just said like before opening this that i needed one so it was pretty dope that it was in there and then of course there is the setting spray it smells really good it feels nice it's a setting spray all right so my box was actually retailed at 261 dollars which is actually 11 dollars more than what it actually says on the site it says it was 250 dollars so that makes me feel even more better i think that it is worth getting i am happy with what i got so let me know down below what your thoughts are on the mystery box i'll catch you guys on the next one bye